Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Ilse Samarripa and this is the world space. Today we're gonna be talking about constraint systems. I know constraints at the beginning can be some sort of love-hate relationship, but when you learn how to use them, I assure to you they make your animation so much easier, so much better. They can really facilitate your workflow. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a complex constraint system to have one hand leading, the other one following, the grip to be inside the grip of the machine gun or rifle, and the ability to load your weapon without breaking everything. So let's jump right into it. Now, I do wanna show you that I have two very useful shortcuts. One is to go here, actually. So in order to open my hotkey editor, I just go Ctrl K and this opens. Another hotkey that I want to show you is for my parent constraint options, which is Ctrl P. Whenever I press Ctrl P, I get the checkbox of the parent constraint options. So I go Ctrl P and this happens. So then I can decide whether I want to maintain offset, whether I want the rotation to happen in certain axes, etc. Having said that, I'm gonna elaborate a little bit on how parents and parent constraints are different. If you already know this, you can skip to minute 345. In order to make a parent constraint, you select the father first, then the child, and then go Ctrl P, in my case, for my hotkey. And in this case, I want to maintain offset, which means that everything will remain in the same position it was. And I'm gonna apply. And parent constraints become responsible for the translation, rotation, flirtation even, <laughs> and position of another object. This constraint object will not become part of the constraining object's hierarchy or group. But in order to parent two objects without parent constraint, just parent, you go child, then parent, and then hit P on your keyboard. In parent constraints, everything is made inside the hierarchy of the object. Whereas in simple parenting, you have one object that goes inside the group of another object, like so. But what is the main difference of animating with parents and with parent constraints? Let's say I'm animating both of my parents. Not my parents, but the ball parents. You know what I mean. Now both sons are moving along but their relationship to their parents is very different. Now, I'm gonna take one child, the child of the simple parent, and I'm gonna try to animate it. Now you can see that the ball is actually respecting the relationship it had before with her parent. But at the same time, it is moving. It is respecting the animation. Whereas, if I animate the ball that has a parent constraint, then the ball becomes confused. And that's why you can see the channel box being green, because it's controlled by two different movements. The movement of its parent and the movement that you're animating on top of it. So whenever you want an object to follow another object, but still be able to animate it independently, then you want to go for a parent instead of a parent constraint. This will give you the freedom to keep animating, but it will keep everything inside a group, so you need to be mindful of that. One problem when you're animating just parents and not parent constraints is that when you're animating inside a studio and then you need to release your curves in order to finish your work as an animator, it becomes a little bit complicated because everything is inside the group of the other objects, so... I use P more in situations where I don't have to release my curves. Okay, so we have Malcolm here. He's kind of scared. Maybe the first time he's holding a weapon. So now we're gonna build a constraint system for him to be able to move this gun around, be able to load it. What I'm gonna do is I am going to go ahead and create a circle, a nerve circle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it very, very narrow. and adjust it to my gun. And I want it to follow this line, kind of like that. Higher here. Okay, so now we have this, which will be controlling all of our weapon, right? So this will be the parent of, this is our machine gun. Father, son, constrain, parent, with offset so now this control moves our gun and the first thing we want to do second thing i want to do is i want this to move with 
my gun. So I already grouped it. So this is a grip and I want the grip to move with my machine gun. So it's all good. I make sure the grip is inside the machine gun system. So this gizmo, as you can see, this gizmo is kind of crazy. It's not pointing towards the right direction. So what I'm gonna do is double you left click object. So this follows along the axis of my curve. Now I want this hand to be actually what's controlling the machine gun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say this is the parent of this. Control P and I'm gonna say add my parent with offset. So now that I move this hand, this machine gun's following along. Now you want this hand to move along with the grip, but at the same time I want it to follow the machine gun. So child, parent, and then hit P, which will parent, not parent constraint, just parent this to this, which is the son of this parent constraint. So now woohoo, we can see it's moving along. Now I actually want these two to work together. So right now, in order to respect this diagonal, I'm gonna say this will be the parent of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the child, grab the parent and say P in my keyboard. And now whatever I do with this is gonna move the hand, but I do wanna keep this in object space. So it's linear. And lastly, since he has his arms close to his body and he's holding the weapon, I think you will have more control if you set your system to FK. So everything right now is following along. Don't forget we have a new Discord channel where you can ask me things, get to know other people in the community. I will leave you a link in the description down below. I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up so the algorithm likes me better. Share it with your other animator friends who may need this information. Also, don't forget, Rikingo is a site where you can download many different tools and tutorials. If you are an animator, if you want to learn scripting, if you want to even learn how to make your own video game, it doesn't matter if you're highly experienced or you're new to the industry. There is content for all kinds of CG artists. You can see these tools being used over and over again in the pipelines of the most important studios around the world. My subscribers and I get a 20% discount in any purchase. There's even free stuff to play around with. I will leave you guys a link in the description down below. Make sure to check it out. For a more detailed conversation with me and for exclusive content like asking questions, having Zoom meetings with me, getting personal animation tutorials and more, just check out my Patreon. I will leave you a link in the description down below. For each dollar I receive, a percentage will serve to rescue stray dogs and cats. And you will unlock new content every week, so please check it out. Help me, help the channel, and become a VIP world spacer. If you like this video, please let me know down in the comments, because I can surely make more of this. This is a very interesting topic, and it helps you become a very technical animator, which is always good, and it's always needed in studios. I hope you have a wonderful day. Keep making art, you beautiful, talented artist.